some kind of weird weather they're having here, man. Oh, man. I'll tell you what. At uh, eight minutes to post in Coupe de Ville's race, I heard this rumbling outside and uh, immediately heard the paddock judge. And it was sunny up until that point. I said, get your mud gear. How, how could it rain that hard that fast? And it was raining. Ran out, put some mud gear on. Now, the next thing I heard from the paddock judge was... We're going to go short score and right to the gate. And that is maybe the worst thing I could hear. Aside from get your mud gear, the second worst thing you could hear, in fact, even worse than get your mud gear, was short scores. Coupe de Ville, little rusty looking sometimes, you know, that extra warm-up lap, uh, you know, to have her warm up a little bit is important. It's very important. To have Coupe de Ville go right on the track and go directly to the gate, that was a problem. I, 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 There was a very loud voice in my head saying, this filly is going to run. You, you're not going to be able to keep her trotting over this track track in this weather, and now the wind is picked up. It was very strange weather. Went on the track, uh, and of course I'm the eight, so I can't even cheat and go around once more. I can't do it. Literally got to the edge of the tote board, and the gate started out down to the track. I thought we were in real trouble. Um, Coop went out of there okay, behaved herself okay, but again, not a whole lot of holes there. She won on the front end. I don't... Everything's changed. This is a new day, a new track. Race three is new. Is the front end going to hold up in this wind, in this mud? How's she going to be with her flip-flops on? How's she going to be, you know, on a short score? All this stuff is rattling around in my head, and, and I'm about to find out the same time as you. So, much like her, her last race, you know, she didn't spring off the car. I'm looking. There's not a lot of holes up there. Number one, it's still very much in my head. I'm very, very concerned she's going to make a break. So, rule one with trotters is in effect. Regardless of what's about to take place, keep her trotting. And I did. And then it was pretty clear, you know, as we're going into the turn, I see the gentleman on the front kind of look over his shoulder. He's trying to figure out if anybody's coming. I'm the favorite. So obviously if he's looking, he's looking to get covered up probably. So I keep coming, clear to the front, she felt great. Um, Teachrix Horse was one to beat first over. I was feeling pretty good about the way the race was shaping up. But Coop still a little bit rolly in the straights. So I tried to get away on them in the last turn. I thought I did. When we came out of the turn, I thought she was gone. She thought the same thing I was thinking. It was going to be a cakewalk from here on in. And she just kind of throttled back a bit. And to be frank, I let her. I should have just kept on her coming out of the turn, and I think I hold on. But she put a couple of steps in halfway down the lane. I almost lost her. felt like I was going to lose her for a second. And then she just got picked off. Did she go to sleep? Did she, you know, just put a couple of steps in and power down? Was the wind too much? Was she getting a hold of the track with the flip-flops? I could give you a number of questions that I couldn't answer right now. The end result was she raced pretty good to finish second. And not to mention, we just had the ear hood and snake cord on her mouth. If she just has the earplugs on and I pop the plugs coming out of the turn, is she gone? Can I put the bit in her mouth and nurse her through the wire? Probably a lot of those things would have got me to the winner's circle. They didn't. It just didn't work out that way. She raced good to be second for a frail filly to ship four and a half hours down to a new place. Warm up twice. I thought, pretty good mile. Pretty good mile from, from Coupe de Ville. I wasn't disappointed at all. I obviously would have wanted to win. I could have maybe, you know, in hindsight, giving you three or four different scenarios where I do win, but I did finish second, and I thought she raced well. I wasn't going to make the same mistake twice. Uh, the horse on the front kind of faltered in, in my race, being me, the next race, and then Coupe de Ville, I saw Brett go out of there. The horse that I wanted to follow was either Brett or Tony Hall. Tony Hall is directly to my left. He's getting into the four hole. It doesn't look like he, his body language does not make me believe he's going to come hard at the quarter. He's going to end up being first over or second over. I'm going to be second over or third over. I'm pretty happy with the way this race is going. I end up second over. She was trotting good. If you had asked me at the 5 eights, I would have said I'm probably going to be a winner. Wheeled her out three deep, and I think uh, she did everything. She, she did everything, paid by numbers from the from the 5 eights pole to the wire. and was a winner. I thought she raced great. We were off to a great day. I forgot to tell you, the stable.ca had a hockey team in the hockey tournament. And they won. So James was my first pick. James, J.R. Plot, everybody did a great job. Louis Philippois, they were all winners. Uh, winners today in the hockey tournament. Uh, we were a winner with 
smoking hot Irish girl. We were second with Coop. We were second just a minute ago with odds on Delray. Thought he should have been a winner too, but he raced good. Raced good to be second. You still got to get up and beat other horses. And took a dive off Dipper, not known for his closing prowess. Raced huge to be second also. So, so far today, with two left to go, two that are going to be picked very close also. With two left to go, where am I going here? With two left to go, uh, we've had a win in three seconds. Today. Pretty big day for the stable so far. Four, two wins counting the hockey tournament. So I'm on my way to get a bite to eat right now. I'm on my way to Oak Grove. But I'm sure I'm going to get there too late for the, for the restaurant at the casino. So I'm going to stop right here in Cincinnati in one mile. Got a nice little place to have uh, some steak. So I, um, I might even give you an update as I'll be driving on uh, Warwi Yuri and uh, cash deals, but both of them have a very good chance tonight. I'm sure they've both been racing great. Really, really interested to watch War with Yuri tonight. I think we got a good look at cash deals. She's got a lot to offer this year, too. We should have some fun with her and War with Yuri. Can't wait to see him race tonight. So, good luck to everybody. Great day so far for us. Lots going on. Videos are done. They'll be coming out soon. I will talk to you all very soon. Take care.